All right, so we're in Hilo, uh, back in Hilo again for another mural, uh, working with uh, students from UH, and I'm probably gonna do all this over again because the lift is running and very loud. <laughs> <laughs> The whole creative process was really cool. Um, what I love about it is that it was really in the hands of the students to come up with the concepts. And um, really, so we didn't get to see the multiple days that went into that. But what we got to see is first a, a black and white sketch of the concept um, that Estria came up with based on the conversations that he had with the students. So um, what was exciting is he saw a black and white sketch and then um, the meaning, you know, we went into you know, a half hour presentation uh, about really what the deeper meaning is behind the illustration. And then he showed us the color version, which just completely blew our minds. You know, they're filming us, right? No ke kii pai a o HPM, no ke kumu mana o wakono ia o Estria e hele mai a emalama i mau papa ho nui ike, maluna o ka ho mohala ana ike kumu mana o e pena ia maluna o kapaya, no ka umo papa no ka upapa o la lohove i makahiki elua ano leila na na i malama ike kahi mau papa ho nui ike ana u i ho o kele ike kahi mau papa ho nui ike o ka mana o nui. Oya ho ike ia, he aha ho i ka mea e hilo wai o hilo. We worked with students from La Pohoehoe School, a middle school class um, in the beginning and we were working with students from UH. Uh, but they're on spring break, so they're kind of coming and going. So we don't have um, a core group of, of students who are here every day in and out. Um, so it's going to be a lot of lead artists that are going to be working on this. Nice, nice work. It's very colorful. Yeah. It's very nice. Perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> A big part of this mural is uh, the relationship between Kamapua'a and Pele. So Kamapua'a is sort of represented by the forest and Pele by the lava. And in the stories, people know them to have like a tumultuous relationship. And um, it's about coming to understand each other's elements because they're sort of opposites because they have to work together for a common thing. So, you know, like the lava, it, um, it wipes out the forest, but then over time, the forest turns that lava back into a forest. So it's both about rejuvenation and new beginnings. So that kind of connects with like mihi, you know, ho'oponopono. Um, new beginnings start with forgiveness. And then in the centerpiece, there's a, a ohia hand, and it's holding up a lehua blossom. And that represents Ohia and Lehua, these two lovers that wanted to be together forever. And so they, that represents, the tree and the blossom represents like that eternal love, that idyllic relationship. Um, and so it's sort of like through the struggles of learning how to work together, you can have that kind of a love, that kind of a relationship. The mural also has three pico. This is your pico E is up here. It connects you to the heavens. It connects you to your ancestors. They're always right behind you, yeah? And then this one connects us to now. So, so when we talk about we, most people talk about we like us in this room, or we, this group. Uh, but we is also the heavens, us, and the earth. And so that's what the three people are about. And then in the background, there's uh, hula dancers, and we're gonna try to make them look more connected to or a part of the background elements the two mauna, the plants, the sky, um, the different realms. And that's the gist of this mural.
it's not just a mural. There's a mural with a story behind it, and a story that's rooted with Hawaiian culture and Hawaiian perspectives.